Hello and welcome to the post-Easter Reigate College Maths work. So what we're going to be doing for now is looking at the start of the second year content for A-level Maths. A lot of the work that we're going to be looking at is available to you on Moodle in the year two pure mathematics section. There are PowerPoints that you can work through as well, but what I'm going to do is work through an introduction and the questions from the workbook. So we're going to be looking at sequences and series, but the main question is what is the difference between a sequence and a series. Both words tend to come hand in hand with each other, but they are distinct things. So a sequence is a list of numbers that follows a pattern. So for instance, that is a sequence. Also a sequence also a sequence. Okay, we could have something like this as well. So we have minus four, two, minus one, a half, and so on. So it's important that you are able to recognize different types of sequence as well as different um, or the patterns to write sequences. So there are lots of different types of sequence that you may have met before and you need to be able to identify some important things about them. For instance, What's the difference between this sequence and these two? These two have these three dots at the end, which in maths you should know means continue to follow the pattern until. Now because these don't have an end point, these are infinite sequences. This one is finite. We're going to look in a more detail of those later on, but now we need to think about what a series is. So a series is what happens when you add the terms of a sequence together. You get a total, so in this case 10. This here is the series. This is the value of the series, or the total of the series. So we need to think about what arithmetic sequences and series are. So what makes a sequence or series arithmetic? So, my three examples of sequences here, this one is arithmetic, these two, this one not really, these two are not. What is the difference between this sequence and these two? It's all about how you generate the next term. So with this sequence here, you can hopefully see that to get each term, we add one. The idea of adding makes it arithmetic. We call this 
the common difference. And for all of our notation, we use the letter D. So, in general, we have any sequence has a first term. Arithmetic sequences have this common difference. In this case, the first term is 1. And in general, we use the notation A. Now you are probably well aware of how to find, or a method to find the nth term of an arithmetic or any series or sequence. Typically it's along the lines of n times what do you add on plus what would the term before be, which is quite clunky. So let's look at how to generate a formula for the nth term. So, the notation for nth term, we're going to use a lot of, is un. Now, the u, that can be a different letter. It doesn't have to be u. It might be a, it might be x. It's just a placeholder. The n tells you which term you're on. So, the first term would be u1 and we know for our arithmetic progression or se sequence we've said that the first term is a so the second term would be u2 we take the first term and we add on the common difference so in this case our first term was 1 and we added 1 first term add the common difference to get the second term, and so on. Now, the third term is going to be the second term plus the common difference. So we get a plus d plus d. So, what would the fourth term be? Write it down. Yep, yeah. a plus 3d. Hopefully you've already started to see a pattern. So that we can write down the nth term of an arithmetic progression. You can see for each of them it's got an a in and we're adding something. Here we had 1d and our term was 2. Here we had 2d and our term was 3. Here we had no d and our term was 1. So the nth term of an arithmet arithmetic progression is a plus n minus 1d you need to learn this formula. Because it is not in the formula book. So, hopefully you've got the first page, or you can see the first page from the workbook for arithmetic sequences and series. As I said, it is available on Moodle. We're going to have a look at question one. So, find the nth term of each arithmetic series. So we've got 6, 20, 34, 48, 62. So we know the nth term formula 
is a plus n minus 1 d. So we need to work out a and d. n is going to be n because that's what's in the formula. a is the first term. now we need to look at what d is. So we need to see what number we are adding on every time. You can see we're plusing 14. Now we're here, we need to multiply it out. And simplify. And this is our nth term formula, 14n minus 8. So what I'd like you to do is pause and have a go at part b, and then we'll go through that now. So part b, we've got 7, 15, 23, 31, 39. Again, our nth term is a plus n minus 1 d. a is 7. We are adding 8. So our nth term formula is 8n minus 1. So what you will need to do now is using the year two textbooks which you should have access to through active learn what we would like you to do is on page 61 exercise 3a questions one two three Five, and then a stretch and challenge, questions 9 and 10.